Kiss my ass. Praise the Lord. How you doing? This is vlog number 15. According to me, Cadillac Kimberly. I've missed you. Everybody's like, Cadillac, Cadillac, where you at? You all see the prices of gas, honey? I've been fucking, okay? Gas is expensive and I got a cup of V8 and premium. Honey, child, boom. I went back to working on Wednesdays for the pimp, baby. And it's been good, too, okay? I'm making more than the baddest bitch on payday Friday. And, you know, sometimes prostitution is the only solution. You got to do what you got to do to get what you got to give. And I got to get mine. Hopefully, you got to get yours. Um, We're going to touch on the A right quick. That's where I stay. We're going to touch on Eddie Long, the Real Housewives of Atlanta reunion, and the irrelevant miscellaneous Ebony Steele from the Ricky Smiley Morning Show. Uh, let's see. Uh, Eddie Long, <laughs> you know, uh, you've come to learn recently that dick sucking can be expensive. I could have told you that. You could have called some of my clients. <laughs> Just kidding. You know I ain't never sucked dick in my life. <laughs> Yeah, but, uh, Eddie, you've come to learn that uh, dick sucking is expensive if you actually did suck any dick. But, uh, you know, you're in court now and, or mediation, and now you're coming up with all type of stuff like uh, Monday nights. The next three Mondays you want to have just the men, men only come out to the church, and uh, you all have prayer and offering, and they don't have to be a member. He emphasized that. You don't have to be a member to give, okay? So he's capitalizing on that. Some scripture he got out of the Bible about how three times men are supposed to come together and bring an offering. So, okay, that's his new strategy to try to come up with this loot. And, uh... You know, they had the shooting in the parking lot. I don't know what that was about, but uh, Ed Long said it didn't have anything to do with the church, okay? And now he's putting people uh, off of work. You know, he's uh, taking jobs from some of his employees because of the economy. Okay, yeah, okay. Um, the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Um, the reunion was kind of slow to me. Um, Phaedra, I loved it when you said, uh, I'm pre-housewife when you told Nathan that, oh, let me just say, uh, Nene, Nalithia Leaks. Nene, Nene, uh, how come you don't never talk about your two sisters, the one whose identity you stole? Allegedly. <laughs> Y'all know I got to say that, allegedly. Why you don't never talk about them? And uh, everybody asked me, why she go all the way to L.A. to get those wide-ass, chiclet-looking teeth? I said, I don't know, but I'll ask her. So, uh, why, bitch? Um, let me see what else. Um, okay, now, Candy with Kim. Kim, to me, was a user at the gate. Uh, I never liked her. I told you, I, you know, I think it was like third episode in. I didn't trust her. So I thought the bitch had a hood. She just didn't wear it. But now I think Sweetie Iron in it. I think Kim got a clean hood. She just don't wear it. And Sweetie Iron in it, okay? And Sweetie, if you aren't a slave, you look like one because you sure is ugly. <laughs> you know, that's just keeping it real. Um, let's see. Uh... Phaedra, too, you know, a lot of people don't know Phaedra has four degrees, so don't sleep on Phaedra. Everybody was like, Cadillac, why you like Phaedra? Why you like Phaedra? She cool as hell. She regular folks. She cool as hell. Love me some Phaedra. I miss you, too, Phaedra. I miss talking to you. Um, let's see. Um, Ebony Steele from the Ricky Smiley Morning Show. Okay, uh, we are not friends. Uh, we worked in the same facility, and you walked past me almost every time you saw me and didn't speak, okay? And every time you saw me, you almost scared the hell out of me. But why are you trying to follow me on Twitter, okay? It's probably because you need some help. Because I listen to you sometimes when I'm in the car and Ricky Smiley Morning Show is on. Somebody got a gun to my head making me listen to it. Hold one, please. Tonight's cocktail of choice is White Hennessy. You can't get that at your local liquor store. Trust. Shouts out to Bridget Crider for the smooth cocktail premium. Thank you, boo. Love you. Uh, yeah, uh, Ebony, you going to send me a follow request. And we friends, you know, when I hosted the event for Closet Freaks, you walked right past my VIP, didn't speak, you know. So, bitch, why are you trying to follow me now, okay? You know, I, I don't get that. Uh, I don't appreciate it. You could at least have been in disguise like Nene did when she tried to follow me. You're going to come in all bold, you know, as yourself. <laughs> you ain't enough, okay? And for the record, Ebony Steele is not Ebony Electra. Everybody thinks Ebony Electra and Ebony Steel are the same person. For the record, they are not. Ebony Electra is pretty, okay? Ebony Electra is relevant, okay? Ebony Electra is following me. So, no, they are not the same person. And, Ebony, when you're doing entertainment news or whatever it is Ricky has you in charge of, could you read that shit to yourself first before you start reading it to us? Damn, you know what I'm saying? I'd be like, ugh. And then I got two things I want to say that ain't got nothing to do with nothing. It's just how I feel and it's just according to me. Ladies, stop calling your man your boyfriend, okay? Because you're speaking over him, okay? When you're a girl, you have a boyfriend. When you're a woman, you have a man. I can't stand to hear no 
50 and 40 year old woman. So my boyfriend said, my boyfriend, uh, and once you're 17, 18 years old, you should have a man, baby. And you're speaking over him. So stop calling him a boy if he's a man, okay? And if you know, then if he start acting like a boy, then you'll get mad, but you've spoken it over him. So, you know, and if he's not acting like a man, speak over him and call him one until he rises to the occasion. Okay, that's one of my pet peeves. And number two, LA Fitness, you ain't shit. I just want to tell y'all that. Them some old bootleg motherfuckers. I can't steal LA Fitness, you motherfuckers. And right quick, let me talk about what Chili wants. What Chili wants is a check because they held auditions here in Atlanta for the men for the show. So, Tiona Smalls is just for show. And she and I had an exchange last week on Twitter. And uh, <laughs> try, she tried to handle me. My thing is, girl, you handling me is like you wearing a size four. It would never happen, okay? And then you're going to brag about how much money you're making on VH1. Well, how come your mama teeth all fucked up? And then it's the front teeth at that. And why you got her the $8 wig and not the $10 wig? Use a selfish, low down, dirty bitch. Okay, and your man look like he just got out of prison <laughs> today. <laughs> I'm gonna go and tell your daddy to you know about how you acting too. All I gotta do is walk up on the stage and check a cheek. That's him. That's that big gorilla man. I know that's your dad. Sometimes DNA ain't necessary. You know, we got to touch on the basketball wives, you know, or the, whatever you want to call them wives. But, you know, I don't fuck the basketball players, so hell, I could be the wife, but that's all they did was fuck them. Most of them ain't no wife. Most of them was fucking somebody who played basketball, so shit, I could be on that show. Evelyn, what the hell wrong with you? You know, I think maybe you like Nene. I think you'll know who your daddy is, so you're looking for that in a man because there's no reason for you to be fucking two men on the same team at the same time, which is what you had to be doing. When I looked up the dates that Kenny and Antoine were on the same team, you had to be fucking them both at the same time when they were on the same team. That's why you couldn't get the ring because you were getting all the dingling. Okay, you's a nasty hoe. Who raised you? You know, I'm just like, damn. And then your daughter, you know, who is her daddy? She looked like her daddy might be a sand kicker. I don't know what to say about you, Evelyn, <laughs> but my thing is, with Kenny, you know, what did he buy you? Because if I fuck a nigga work at Kroger Trust, he'll have to buy me something or do something or pay something. So, I mean, Evelyn, what you got to show, you know, besides all that Botox on your forehead, what you got to show for all this pussy you done gave up to everybody? And it might not be no good. You can't get no ring. When you got good pussy, you can't get rid of a man. Shit, I got five sitting outside my house now. Wait for me to finish this vlog. Um... I just don't know what to say about you, Evan, besides you nasty and you trifling. Susie, I'm going to need you to swallow. Seems like you collecting something in the bottom of your mouth when you talk like that. Yeah. I don't know if it's leftover nothing. You trying to save it in case you trying to impregnate yourself and trap somebody. I don't know, but swallow. I'm tired of you collecting that pool of fluid in the bottom of your mouth. That shit get on my nerve. Anybody else notice that how she hold all that, you know, how she hold all that in her mouth? That disturbs me. I don't like that. Could you stop that? And Shawnee. You know, how you going to have your nose in the air and the bottom of it missing? I don't even understand that. You ain't even got enough nose to have it in the air. And then she always talking about L.A. as her city. How the hell you going to maintain and run a whole city and bitch you couldn't even run a marriage in one man? If you don't sit your ass down, these ho kill me. Okay, and you know, and as far as your daughter, what can I say about her? Uh, <laughs> She looks like her daddy. <laughs> Jennifer, at first I didn't like you. I was like, who is this constipated, stuck-up giraffe? You know, I didn't like Jennifer at first, but you just become more human now, and you just seem to be more of a real person, and I can appreciate that, especially when you took that hood rat, Tammy, some flowers. But um, don't sleep, okay? I think Evelyn probably has fucked Eric. If you think back when you had your fundraiser, they were extra, extra friendly, in my opinion, and Eric tried to tell you about Evelyn and let you know what kind of hoe she is and told you how she slept around before y'all even became friends. But I was glad to see that you were a little standoffish and didn't too much support her relationship with Ocho Cinco. So I'm glad to see that. And I'm glad that you're not, you know, all about looks because you can't be. Not with that, you know, <laughs> unattractive Eric, okay, with that big ass musket damn grape stuck on his head and then that mouth making him look like Mr. Ed, you know, so I believe you a Christian. And Tammy, 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 Lord have mercy, Tammy. Tammy, baby, they made you the ghetto chick of the year. I don't give a damn what else come on the remainder of the year. You are in charge. Okay, <laughs> first of all, let's talk about your attire with them Kessler and Woolworth dresses you've been had on. Lord have mercy. And you know, I don't talk about four children, but bitch, I'm going to make an exception for you. Your daughters, honey, when they were on camera, when Kenny came over to the house, looked like their hair was melting. I was like, what the hell going on? You know, <laughs> I was like, Lord have mercy, are they going to T-Bar's hairdresser or are they really? 
Shirley Eddie Long's children because their hair was so greasy. I was like, God damn. It was like Jermaine Jackson had been on the TV. I had to get the shit professionally clean, so I called the bitch who I know was broke who needed some maid work. I was like, Nene, you'll come over here and help me clean this shit up. Uh... <laughs> Tammy, you just a hot mess. And then you leaking pus and blood all over the hotel room floor. No aftercare after your uh, pl plastic surgery or whatever kind of, you know, self-improvement you had done. You ain't had no aftercare. You ain't had no assistance. Your mama wasn't even there. But maybe she ain't had no gas money after she took you to the abortion you had on the real world. Or maybe she just shamed because if I was her, I would be. But baby, when I saw you with those shoes on at the fundraiser, honey, those shoes look like some shoes you get for free when you buy some shit. Baby, and you ain't you ain't get those paying less. You pay less than less. Ooh, baby, them some ugly ass shoes. And Edison having a good time with your Woodrow looking ass. Every time they got you on camera, you drinking something. Knowing you can't handle your liquor, you free me a Woodrow. And you killing me with them Cracker Jack tattoos. <laughs> You killing me with them Cracker Jack tattoos. And I really believe that you and Kenny used to smoke crack. You got that crackhead look. You look like you used to smoke crack. Y'all people that I say, next time you look at it, look at Tammy. She look like somebody used to smoke crack. I believe she did. And Charlie Sheen, you so popular right now, you can say an Afro Sheen, okay? You in and at least you were until you lost your job. Lord have mercy. And honey, if you go on one more interview and pull that damn piece of paper out from 86 showing you pass your drug test. That shit had me on the floor. That damn Charlie Sheen is a fool with it. I don't have a lot tonight. I got a lot going on. I got a lot of pressure on me, a lot of deadlines I'm trying to meet. But I wanted to come and say something to the people. You know, everybody's like, can't like, can't like, how like a player. So I was like, let me come through and say something to my people. Um, I think that's pretty much everything I sat down and wrote on the toilet. Uh, <laughs> just playing. <laughs> Star Jones, proud of you. You did it on uh, Sunday night. Uh, Celebrity of Prudence premiere. I thank you so much for the invite to New York to celebrate with you. Uh, I'm proud of you. You are astounding out the gate. You are your name. Uh, and you were drop dead gorgeous on the outside too. Uh, I want to also thank uh, John P. Key. John P. Key you recently were there for me and I thank God. You blessed me a couple of weeks ago during a conversation about a situation that I was struggling with and didn't even know it. Gave me clarity and I'm grateful. But for me to call you the way I did last week with my situation and for you to come and help me and not just help me but come and help me right away. I love you with all my heart. Um, Q at World Star Hip Hop, special thanks to you. I appreciate you and all you've done and all you do. Um, Control Magazine, excellent, excellent article you wrote on me. I love it, I love it. Fabulous word usage. Um, Huffington Post, American Airlines, thank you so much. Um, the Zoe Williams Show, thank you so much. Zoe, we got to get together again soon now. People um, are asking for a collabo from us, so get at me. Um, Nina Parker at TMZ, I love you, honey. I love me some Nina Parker. I think she's Miss Gossip Girl or something like that on Twitter. Um, I'm on Twitter at Caddy Kim, C-A-D-D-Y. You can follow me. Um, you can be my friend on Facebook or you can like my fan page. I'm very hands-on and interactive on both. Um, website is still being done. I had to wait for the baddest chick and now I got her so we can get the ball rolling. She said next Friday. So next Friday is cheers, Doretha. Thank God for you. You's a bad motherfucker. You worth waiting on, chick. You can YouTube me. You can Google me. I love you. I'm working on something else before the month's end. YouTube me. Google me. Have a good night. I'm Cadillac Kimberly.